and tally ho -kay. obviously not too pleased about that there is more wrestling to come though at 155 our world title bout marty jones the champion against skull murphy the challenger at 155. now as promised the top of our wrestling bill marty jones the holder from oldham puts his world mid heavyweight title on the line against skull murphy the West Countryman from Plymouth. 15 rounds, two falls, submissions, or the knockout gets the verdict. Let's rejoin your commentator, of course, Kent Walton. So here we go to the really big one of the afternoon session. Of course, the one that everybody's been waiting for. Marty Jones, the world title holder, mid heavyweight, versus Cole Murphy, the challenger. Murphy, of course, the winner, recent winner of the Grand Prix. 1984 belt, a belt which incidentally his opponent today, Marty Jones, would have liked to have very much have gone in for, but couldn't do it because he was uh, too busy with the trying to get the world title off Finley, mid heavyweight. No doubt, in the 1985 Grand Prix belt, we'll see Marty Jones right in there. Jeff K for this title contest. 15 three minute rounds, two falls, two submissions, or a knockout to decide the winner. Identification pretty simple. You can see their heads, of course, the shaven head of Paul Murphy. Jump step over toe hole to Marty Jones. Hold it on with his leg as well as that right hand. But his head was a little bit near Murphy, so he's giving him a chance now. Murphy, of course, who relies a great deal on that uh, the neck pose, especially his famous gator, which is a standing submission hold. Marty Jones, of course, knows that for watching for it all the time. Jones. Come on, Marty, to go in this first round of 15. And oh, oh. Murphy's going to do that. He won't be popular here at the uh, Leisure Center Keithley. Trying to hold that toe, toe hold on with the hook of the elbow, but it would be too much chance now. He's decided to switch, and it's a toe and ankle now. Eight seconds. to break the toe hold you better start breaking clean otherwise he'll be collecting a few public warnings and marty jones will get madder and madder because he just does not like that sort of treatment at all he never uses it why should he take it marty jones one of the greatest in the business today i would say marty from oldham second away round two marty jones of course who Won the title recently on television from the Irishman from Lisbon. Fit Finley. Okay, fit Finley. The title has been waiting to try for for a long time. He's finally got it. Now this is his first defense of that title, Mike Jones. Challenger there, Skull Murphy. From Plymouth. 16 stone. As 
the, the weight that he used to wrestle at. Marty Jones, well under 14 12 necessary, of course, for the world mid heavyweight title. So, Mark Stone Murphy has had to take off quite a few pounds for this one. Some of these big men seem to have no problem at all to hear the defending or challenging titles. Paul Nelson Jones. And again, but this time Jones doesn't want it because we quick reached up there. Very neat moves. Oh, great rush on the fellow. And the card from Soto. Less than a minute now. Round two. Murphy doesn't want to listen to advice from the crowd or his opponent very much, but anyway, Marty Jones hasn't taken the advice. Straight arm now, just Murphy with 15 seconds left. Got to release that arm lock for the likes of the not, Jeff K insisting. And you get a public warning if he doesn't. Never seen a hold held on for so long after the bell. Lucky to get away without a lot of public warning there. Skull Murphy. But he doesn't try that again too soon. Second away, round three. Round three, no score, 13 rounds to go. But he's got that arm lock back almost, but he's trying to get it against the joint. He's got it really half with the joint now. with the joint into a backhammer, double wrist lock now to Murphy. <laughs> oh, nice and sharp, beautiful shot. And Murphy just didn't know where that played from. That was very quick indeed. Uh, up, up, punch to the stomach. Low stomach there. And the crowd saw it, the referee not I don't think he spotted it. Couldn't have been sure enough anyway because he hasn't delivered any warning at all. Tomorrow if he's Murphy does a lot of this for the stranglehold point of view. He gets his arms around the front. More or less a chin face bar. Still got one of them there now. And that definitely was a punch of the referee right in line with that one. That was a ridiculous punch to give, and he takes his man while he's still on the deck. Due to the moment, maybe the referee puts that down as so he lets that go. And one public warning against Murphy in round three. Back over. Oh, 
great posting. Murphy and the ring go right across the hall here. The ring moves three or four inches there. Murphy again trying his uh, toe and ankle. No, couldn't hold it, so he's... Yes, yeah, so I don't think he can win this move now. Lovely stretch. Bit unlucky there. Marty Jones. And we go over to his corner. Still arguing with the referee about that. Stood on the man's hand, turned his man beautifully, got a double arm on and the bell went. Unfortunate. But there's 12 to go. Second way, round four. So round four, 12 rounds to go. One public corner against Stoll Murphy. The shaven head there. Head of the single layer target, he just goes back to us. Murphy, one public warning against him. He's got one public warning already. He's on his way to another if he continues these moves on the ropes. So the first man is up. Like that on the ropes again. Oh yes, that's a great person. Let's put the ring back to three or four inches and let's get it. And last. Oh yes. Caught him well. And, and they both got linked arms trying for the same move but I think Jones has come off worst on this occasion. Just landed in the back of his neck. And Murphy should be able to go. There's the gator. There's the speciality of Murphy. And he's got a submission. He gets a submission in round four with his famous submission hold, the gator. That's how he won the 1984 Grand Prix belt. And that's how he got the first fall in this title. And round four with a gator submission. First goes to the indestructible Scott Murphy. And that looked like a punch by Murphy. Murphy speaking on behalf of the referee, I would just like to remind you that you have one public warning. Lucky not to get a second then. We go for round five in a second. Second round five. Not only was that a punch, but it was in the interval too. Very lucky to get away with that. The referee a bit lenient about that. And he'd better start counting, I think, in a minute. Crowd here, I'm sure at home, want uh, Marty Jones to win this one and hold on to his title. This is the first offense of his world mid heavyweight title belt, which he got off Finley. This ring is moving all over the hall here. As the knee came down ahead, another Marty Jones' favorite weakness. Oh, was that or was that not? Punch. The referee not absolutely sure. Oh. 
Lance Jones on the top rope, rope downwards. Good week, though. Really illegal. Illegal use of the ropes. Don't think he's going to get away with this treatment much longer. See if he tries it again. And Jones is bad anyway. Not getting too much protection from the referee. So maybe he'll do it himself. Remember, Skull Murphy only wants one more score. Another Gator's admission or something like it. And he's got the title off Jones. And Jones, of course, has other ideas. He tries to pull his man over the further press. And trouble here for Murphy, but gets up at a count of two. It's away with that one. He's going for the Gator again. No, Jones has gone down. He's out of trouble because he's turned away from it. If he submits on this, it's the belt he's giving up. And it's only just reason he won it. goes on the end of it. Second away, round six. Round six. And ten rounds to go. Is still leading Marty Jones, the holder of this world mid heavyweight title, by one submission to nil and with one public warning against him. Murphy, that is. And Murphy continuing to attempt to get another gator. And oh, Jones coming in very fast that time. And all the way up, drop kick. Chest high. Beauty. And final public warning to Joe Murphy. Had to, had to happen. He keeps using that punch and right in front of the referee with it. So two public warnings. Final public warning for Skull Murphy. Round six. Oh, the back elbow that missed by a, a foot there. Jones completely sidestepped that one. Just rolled over out of the way. It's a lovely straight arm he's got there, jo Jones, if he can hold that arm lever against right the joint. Agreed to. Thank you, into luck. Double. Arm stretch, Murphy. Well, 
Jones. Very unusual. Right at the end of round six there, Marty Jones gets his first public warning. So two public warnings to Murphy and this man, most unusual, getting a public warning in the wrestling ring. But well, the second time I've ever seen him. Loses his uh, cool just a little bit. Second away, round seven. Round seven. Nine to go. Still Murphy leading by one submission to nil over Marty Jones, the holder. Two public warnings against Murphy. Still Murphy. And one public warning against Jones. Oh, great Great backdrop by Jones. Oh, we tried to switch it and missed it. Couple of forearm uppercuts. Completely missed that switch then, Murphy. I think it's a matter of skidding. They're sweating so much that uh, to grab a man covered in sweat, a little bit uh, slippery. Beautifully at the knee there. He goes for the left leg again, and it's a power lock coming by Jones here. If he gets that power lock on his arm, the knee, equalizing submission. And the oh, yes, immediate submission, round seven, in just one minute, 45 seconds, of round seven. Jones, the equalizing submission, one submission each now. Your MC Brian Crabtree to announce and that. Round seven, it is our speciality pilot submission. The equalizer, the champion, Marty Jones. So with eight rounds to go, finally Jones gets that equalizing submission with his speciality, the power leg lock. So each man has used his favorite submission hold now. Second But the public warning situation, most interesting. Murphy with two against his name. Hasn't got any to play with at all. Jones with one. But, oh yes, beautifully out. Perfect drop kick. Landed absolutely precision. Beautiful drop kick. And it might not even get back in time. He's not going to make it. He's not going to make it. It's a knockout win in round eight. Uh, just 27 seconds going to round eight. Jones the winner by a knockout. After a one submission each. Commissioner MC, he came in wearing a Grand Prix belt. That belt is going to be mine in 1985. Well, good. I hope he's right, too, because he wanted a chance at that Grand Prix belt in 84, but was too busy looking after his... Uh, uh, winning at the world title here. The champion, the world champion, Marty Jones. So we'll be seeing Jones go for the Grand Prix belt in 1985. In the meantime, he holds on to his world mid-heavyweight belt here this afternoon. With that knockout win for Jones in round eight, it's goodbye from all of us at Keithley. Have a good week.